Hello everyone, the new Imaginarium Theatre is out and uh, at first I was a little bit annoyed to be quite honest because obviously we can't turn off the bonus stats for Moalani so testing her at her base level is a little bit difficult right now but then I remembered that they actually reworked it to a certain extent and added a new difficulty tier to Imaginarium Theatre so I might as well uh, try this out right now. And I haven't done it so far, but uh, I checked if I even have enough characters to complete this because you need quite a lot. And I think I'm right about there, like barely. I think I can add some bonus characters at the end to get extra stats, as you see right here, but I don't have enough for that. So let's just see how this goes. Oh, right into you. Oh. Uh, boss for adding one extra alternate cast member. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I have 190 already, and I think they reworked some of these buffs as well. So let me just see here. I guess I picked the vaporized one, because I think we start off with Mualani. Uh, brilliant blessings will grant considerable buffs to characters who meet the requirements for this season, enhancing their effectiveness in combat. Fire elemental reactions. Uh, select brilliant blessing events continuously to increase your blessing level and further enhance the corresponding elemental reaction buffs. Increase brilliant blessings level to increase blessing level as characters will also gain additional attention. Okay. So it's just resistant threat, it seems. And what's this? Okay, and now you also do uh, like extra damage or proc extra damage when you trigger the reaction, I guess. I guess I want more pyro application because Moalani needs it, kind of. Well, I guess she doesn't, but... Well, let's see. Defeat all opponents. This should be easy enough. Sure. Okay, now... I guess I just pick her and... Candice, she does elemental normal attack, uh, Moalani does elemental normal attack damage and she gets hydro resonance, so I guess I pick her. I just pick, um, what's her name here, just to uh, fill the last slot, I actually don't care that much, but I want to pick the tri characters first because they are obviously a little bit weaker in terms of build. Okay, I, I skipped this, sorry, but <laughs> I don't care that much. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was pretty easy, but I think the difficulty increase only starts at the end, I guess. Oh, uh, guess I picked this. Oh, why did I? Oh, okay. <laughs> guess that's normal. Um. I guess I pick another companion first because these can consume, or in the previous version, these could consume all of these things, so I guess I spend them first. Okay.
And pick another vaporized thing. Guess I reroll once. There we go. When choosing a mystery cache event, you can reset selectable. Okay, I don't care. After selecting this companion events cost 10 fewer fantasy flowers. Classic events cost 10. Okay, I don't know. I think I pick more blessings than companions, right? Guess I pick this. Oh, they got rid of a lot of the uh, like uh, secondary uh, challenge objectives. That's weird. I guess I get Emily started here. Um, get rid of this too. Lucky day. Oh, my Diluc does not have a weapon. <laughs> Good to know, so I guess I should um, use them too at the beginning, so where everything is literally free. Seems like uh, it's not a problem. He doesn't need a weapon. Nice. Okay, I guess I picked it look again next. Or is it the boss chamber? I don't want Farina yet. I want her at the end when we get to the difficult stages. It's so weird that you always get back to the lobby you now. I guess I just go right to to this one. Actually, I think the challenges don't re-roll if you pick a buff, right? I don't remember. Let's start with the bloom one. Oh wow, that's good. More vaporize, I guess. I guess the damage is better than the second explosion. Does this have... No, it also only has a time limit. That's weird. They actually got rid of all the other stuff. Oh, this is a boss now, right? Perpetual Mechanical Array. So I should probably pick something that can actually deal damage. Not my Diluc without a weapon. <laughs> uh... Let's get rid of Mualani and Jungling, I guess. I don't even know. I, I need something to fill here. I guess I just picked it here for Pyro Resonance. Wow. <laughs> Great. Alright, 
Then the Mualang build is actually pretty good. Maybe I should have saved her for later. I didn't keep track on on how my energy levels are. I still have enough for at least one more chamber. I guess I should start picking new companions now. I should pick Mona now too. I don't think she has any artifacts. So <laughs> might be good to, uh, good to get her out of the way first. Uh, Wow, that's nice. Okay, I didn't really need her, but okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now the secondary objective start. Uh, I guess this one is easy. Um, okay, I guess I just play something like this. <laughs> I guess the taunt is actually pretty good here. Oh. Oh wow, I didn't even see that guy. Okay. This isn't going quite as well as I would have hoped. Okay. Maybe the taunt isn't enough here. <laughs> I try one more time with this. Okay, now it's targeting the knee. I guess I shouldn't kill the guys with the shields. They aren't doing anything. Well, I guess... No, they are. I guess the taunt did some work right now. Alright, that was kind of sus, but okay. Oh, uh, Barbara? I guess I can play some bloom. I picked some bloom. Um modifiers uh, Kalei I guess 
Oh, I don't have enough. Elite. Defeat 15 opponents. Sure. Um... I want to pick Lenny and her together against the boss, I guess. So now I guess I play some Bloom. Oh wait, I could get rid of Mona too, that's good. Let me try. Doesn't really do that much damage. Uh, you don't have a character with high elemental mastery in this team. Getting a little sus, but I guess I'm done with this guy, guys. Very nice. <clears throat> that was close. I don't have anything to trigger overload, I don't think. I only have Raiden. Uh. Let's go for the burning one because I wanted to play Lenny. Guess let's pick another pyro character while we're at it. I am not gonna reroll for the chance of a uh, mystery thingy. Okay, it's the triple Mago Kenki. Maybe I should have played Bloom here. Yeah, maybe I should play Bloom here. It's kind of weird with Emily, but <laughs> I guess it kind of works. Something like this, maybe? Ouch. I thought I pressed the burst. <laughs> Nice. Uh, let's 
Siege Queen, I guess. I'd rather have options right now. I pick another character. And. Yeah, do the elite one. Oh, what's this again? The dog? <laughs> I guess I play the burning team here and get rid of Emily while I'm at it. I guess I just pick Gowling here to to fill. It was actually kind of close for the star. <laughs> oh, finally some stronger characters. Or I should start picking them now, I guess. Uh, I don't really need the burning anymore now that Emily's gone. I guess I picked Bloom. That's always good, I guess. That's more damage. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I picked the burning one. Why not? I guess the AoE damage. Seventy seconds. Is that the Millennium Seahorse thingy? Dendro characters have advantage, okay. <laughs> well, I don't even know. I guess I. Yeah, I guess I. Well, I guess I picked this for Pyro Resonance. Oh, my Tenari is not that good. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely not working. Okay. Uh, 
But nevertheless, it's also really bad here. I guess uh, I play play something like this. That worked. <laughs> oh, this is already one of the later floors. I didn't even keep track on how much there is left. I guess I should have started picking stronger characters at this point. Yeah, let's just pick characters now. Um, oh well. No, I can pick pick no blood against this. I guess. I really needed to pick more characters. God damn it! Oh, I still have to do the entire thing, okay. Oh, Sure, if this is already uh, the new part, or if this is uh, still a floor that was available before the new rework. So I guess this has to be new, right? Hmm. I guess, yeah. In terms of difficulty, it's not that that impressive. Well. Let's see the final boss, I guess, before we make that conclusion. Is this the final boss now? Yes, okay. It's the uh, triple element guy, right? So I need pyro, ideally. I don't have pyro, okay. <laughs> I guess this... I guess something like this should work. Oh, he doesn't have to see that.
Well, still kind of easy. <laughs> I think the hardest part about this is getting enough characters to even start it, I guess. And obviously, I wasn't fully aware on how far I pushed into it, so I guess I could have picked like better characters earlier and had, like in the earlier middle stages, I guess in the middle stages, an easier time, but yeah, overall, I don't think it's, yeah, it's a super, uh like crazy difficulty spike but yeah i think overall the uh the game mode is fun but i wish they uh, they actually uh, it, since you need so many characters for the difficult part here for the last one peerless or whatever it's called i would have assumed that it's like targeted towards veteran players so i would have assumed that they had they made it somewhat challenging, but yeah, I feel like it's still nowhere near of the abyss difficulty, so yeah, that's kind of the conclusion I came to. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a, probably a very long video, probably the longest one of my channel on my channel. It's kind of a, a long run, these uh, theater challenges challenges but anyway um stay tuned for more videos maybe i upload some more um, Wallani videos but of course now she has the extra stats from the imaginarium theater which is a little bit awkward but otherwise um i will definitely get um what's his name uh Kinich and obviously upload some gameplay of him so stay tuned for that until then have fun and bye bye